Now that our app is finished, let's grab a screenshot of it. There's a couple different ways that we can do this. First of all, in the toolbar for the simulator, we can see some icons up here. We have a home button, and if we click on that home button, just like an iPhone or iPad, it will take us to the home screen of the simulator. I can open my app again by clicking on the icon for the app. The second icon up here in our toolbar saves the screen for our simulator. So if I tap on that, it saves a little screenshot of that. If I open up a finder window and look at my desktop, I can see that the save screen button saved the screen from my simulator kind of as a rectangle, the shape of the screen, but I don't get to see the iPhone outline of the simulator, which makes it look really cool. So let's take the screenshot in a different way. First, let's close this up and let's move this window out of the way. Now let's take a screenshot of the simulator window running our app. And we can do that and just grab an image of this window, this simulator app running without getting all of this background. So what we wanna do is hold down the command key, the shift key and the number five key. When we do all three of those keys together, shift, command, and the number five, we'll get this little on-screen toolbar, and we want to select the second icon, which will capture the selected window. And then we can see this little camera icon kind of hovering over our simulator. And when we tap on the simulator with our trackpad, it will grab a screenshot of our simulator window with the device frame. Now I see the frame of this iPhone 14 Pro and it looks a lot cooler than just a rectangle of the screen. So let's have you capture a screenshot using Command, Shift, and the number five. And then if the second icon is selected on the toolbar, you can just hover over the simulator app window and click on the simulator and grab a screenshot of your app running and get that really cool iPhone frame as well.